When it comes to generating images from scratch, I can't think of anything more helpful than DALI. If you don't know what DALI is, DALI is an image generation model from a company called OpenAI. You use it by entering text known as a prompt and getting back images. It's really that simple. While DALI can help us generate images from scratch, I wondered how we can work with it if we already have an existing graphic going. Last summer, while designing the motion graphics for my YouTube series, GPT-X, DALI, and our multimodal future, I found myself looking up many assets online, either Creative Commons or on stock photography sites, not to copy the entire thing, but to perhaps copy elements from different images around the web. It was difficult to find not just relevant images, but also images that matched the art style that I was going for. I wondered if DALI could aid motion graphic artists in their pursuit of finding fragments of assets. Today, I'm going to be sharing what I found out. Before jumping to motion graphics, I started simply with some graphic design inside of Photoshop. I placed a simple background and the title right across the middle in the series' style. Next, using DALI 2, I generated various assets that I could use as a part of this design. I was pleased to discover that just by adding the keywords asset set, I was able to get back the kinds of resources that I wanted to include in my graphic design. This is not a tutorial video, but the general idea is I copied over select fragments from those asset sets and then brought them into my design into separate layers. I set the blending mode to multiply and I ended up with something like this. I went with this mixed media look because it suits the general theme of the series, which is all about multimodality. I wanted to add even more assets to the design and the good news is that I just can with DALI. I can type in what I'm looking for and the style that I want and get back many options. Even this grid line was pretty unique and I was glad I was able to include it in the design. It took some tweaking, but keep in mind to have to find assets and resources either that are commercially available or on various stock photography sites in the past, it would have taken forever. But this was the most seamless process and I'm proud of all these assets that it came up with because it really does suit the style that I'm going for. I felt the design was incomplete, so I used DALI to generate a sculpture of a robot painting for the right side of the photo. It's pretty crazy to think that I started with nothing and now I have all of this. The final graphic design ended up looking like this. Now I'm going to be adding fragments of DALI generated assets into this footage of the space shuttle launching. I'm not an Adobe After Effects motion graphic artist, but I hope you could spot the two assets that I added into this footage. Putting everything together though, I did use After Effects to generate this cool animation of our original graphic design. I'll be honest, this was made pretty easily and straightforward with the help of DALI. In this video, I found that DALI could be very helpful to both graphic designers as well as motion graphic artists by helping us find fragments of assets or perhaps whole assets a lot easier. We can incorporate them into our existing work and save lots of time. If you're interested in taking a look at the original high full resolution images which DALI generated, which were used in this video, I'm going to be posting them on my Twitter account. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you like this video and are subscribed to my channel for more upcoming videos on DALI 2. See you in the next one.